Okay, everybody. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm here with my friend Tess. Uh, Tess has been working with me for about 11 weeks now. She's pretty deep in the program, which is crazy. We were just talking about how I feel like she's been with me for a lot longer than 11 weeks, but I think the past 11 weeks have been some of the most eventful in, um, in all my years of being on this earth. So that's probably why it felt like that long. And we stay in close contact, so that makes sense too. Um, but she's here to talk about her results, not about what's going on, just about the results that she's gotten in the past 11 weeks, which have been outstanding. And given her situation and like how interesting her life is and um, just where she's at in the world, um, it's very impressive. And amongst everything else that's been going on in the world right now, it's very, very impressive. So I'm super hyped about this. And um, I'm not going to spoil the surprises or spoil the results, but I just kind of wanted to introduce Tess real quick. And um, real quick, why don't you just tell everybody like, um, you know, what, what do you do? And like, you know, how, how is your life right now? And what, what kind of things do you do right now with your life? Okay. Hello. Um, I live full time in an RV and we're very isolated. We live in a construction pit in the middle of the Rocky Mountains in Canada. There's still lots of snow. So being outside isn't really much of an option most of the time. It is starting to melt now. And I just started working full time. I'm six to seven days a week, 12 hour days uh, in a construction pit. And I'm trying to work out doing the boot camps while I'm at work. And hopefully I can do that without getting into much shit. For sure. And trying to do the boot camps with three dogs and a cat is always challenging, even when I do them at home. And there's not a lot of room when you're saying do two steps to the left. Well, I, that's not an option for me. Or when you say to go do a wall sit. I need to find a door jam because our walls are so soft that if I lean on them, I'd probably fall through them. Yikes. So that's why you said the other day, Hey, that's a scene I've never seen. It was because <laughs> I was in the bathroom. You had to move, you had to move spots. Well, it's funny because yes. whenever you like, you know, I live in South Florida and you know, there's a, a solid population of, of the clients who are from South Florida. So when we go outside, it's palm trees and you know, warm weather. When um, you go outside, it is Rocky Mountains, which is still beautiful, absolutely beautiful, but uh, it's just completely different, and it it's yep. very uh, it's very interesting. And you guys are in tank tops, and I'm inside <laughs> with a hoodie on. The amount of the amount of uh, comments that you made to us about our nice weather during the quarantine challenge was was endless. <laughs> but uh, and I did do that one challenge out there on the, yeah. the the lake there when it was frozen. That was epic. That was absolutely epic. I, that was, uh, yeah, that looked very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, though. Um, you did it, and you're safe. So I guess why don't you tell everybody, like, where were you at before we started together? Like, where were you at before you met me, and what kind of things were you doing? Hmm. I don't think I'm a bad eater. I think I eat fairly good, but I, I like to throw a lot of other crap food in there with it. And while I'm having my celery, I like to wash it down with three beer. So I think that was my biggest issue is the drinking. And for the most part in the winter, we're snowbirds. So we sit out there every day and have our happy hour and have our appies and have our drinks. So I finally decided that I'd seen enough pictures and it was not as pretty as I thought it was. It's amazing when you see a picture and you think that's what I look like when I went out today. Okay. So I figured I had tried many times and I can lose weight very quickly, very easily. But as soon as I lose it, I go back to normal. I'll lose my five pounds in a couple of weeks and I'm like, hey, I'm good. And then back to normal and the 10 pounds comes back on that I lost out of the five that I lost. So in the last 10 years, I'd gained 50 pounds. So I'm hoping that you can help me get back down. And so far, we've already exceeded the goal that I wanted. And your plan seems feasible. I can do it. It's not as hard as I thought, and the fact that f this is the first time I've ever paid anybody to help me, and I'm extremely cheap, so like you said, trust the process. So I trusted 110% because I want my money's worth out of this, and I've got it, and now I think that um, you're losing money because I'm getting more out of it than I expected. That's not a bad so thing. So hopefully this I'll will take keep going. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. Well, uh, you know, you've... Yeah, I think the biggest thing was for you, you saw results pretty quick. <clears throat> and um, I know at about week three or four, you had told me this is kind of like where I, I, I stopped. 
this is where I kind of turned back and we had had a, we had a chat and I don't remember exactly what we talked about, but it was very much like, let's, let's just keep going. Let's just keep, keep working at it. Let's keep working. At it. And we stayed very, you know, we always stay in close contact. And at the end of the day, um, you know, now you're where you're at. So that, I guess that's a, the, the next question is, you know, what kind of strategies did we implement to get you to the results that you're at right now? Well, you did give me a meal plan, which I really enjoy following a meal plan. It's nice to kind of know beforehand what I'm going to have to eat and it's been easy. So there hasn't been a lot of errors in it. If you say this is what I'm eating, well, I've already bought it. So that's what I'm eating. So the meal plans were great and you did change them up when I wanted them changed and added and subtracted things I did and didn't like. Right. So that's been really nice. And then the workouts that you gave me when I was going to the gym, they were fun. I really enjoyed it. I tried different equipment that I'd never tried before. And that was really neat. And to see the people in the gym watching me, like the staff there, they were commenting on it. And I was really enjoying it as well as I was doing different classes there. Then the gym shut down and it was just a shit show and a half. And I didn't know what to do because I don't have equipment at home. It was still too cold to really be doing anything outside. So when you came up with the boot camp, I was really happy with that and you're pretty much the first person I talk to in the morning the last person I talk to at night I'm accountable to you a hundred and ten percent and if I have to eat something and or if I eat something and I have to put it in my fitness pal I just feel stupid yeah yeah I'm like how great he's gonna read that I had uh, three drinks last night okay I'll hear about it in the morning yeah so that sort of makes me go okay maybe three drinks is a little much today let's uh, tone it back to one and a half or maybe two yeah. Well, I think you've done, you've done very well with that. And I think, um, some of those, those fireball nights, I've seen those pop up. Well, they're not up. usually nights. They're afternoons or mornings. At, well, <laughs> but Canadians do things differently than I guess, than I do it. But at the end of the day, you, uh, you, you definitely have enjoyed yourself. And even on times where you, you got to eat, you know, you sent me the menu and we kind of talked about what exactly you're, you know, you, you've let me know. I'm going to go out and do this or that you know, what's the best option or how should I go about my day or how should we do things? And, um, you still kept your results, which is awesome. You know, I think the biggest thing is people think that they can't do those things and it becomes very restrictive. And then they get in the, the, the loop where they just end up sabotaging, gaining the 10 pounds back after losing five. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would say the coronavirus thing was pretty interesting. Um, we had to make a shift pretty quick. You amongst many other clients stepped up and made it even better. Right. Well, I'm enjoying the work more that. now than I was before. Well, I, I appreciate you saying that because honestly it was something new to everybody. And the fact that people enjoy it is, is amazing. So um, yeah. we've kind of built up the, we kind of built this up Tess. We haven't mentioned what your results are. So where, you know, at this point I have it all, I, I figured it all out and we talked about it before this, but what were your results at this point after 11 weeks in the program? I'd lost um, 11 inches and the majority of it was off my stomach, which was good because I kind of liked the boobs in the ass. I didn't want to lose them. So <laughs> they went down a little bit. Hey, but tell, not Gord, as... tell Gord, uh, I said, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, he's, he's a little pissy about the boobs though. So he's got a, it's but, a give and take thing, right? <laughs> yeah. So I was really happy that most of it came off in the stomach. Like even today I was wearing a pair of pants that I couldn't have worn before. And right. he said, you need to wear a belt. And I'm like, I am. He goes, those are really baggy on you. And they are in the stomach. It looks all saggy and gross. Right. So I, I need to go shopping now. <laughs> it's a good problem. So if a clothing store ever opens up, I'm there. <laughs> well, uh, that's, that's pretty phenomenal, honestly. Like, those yeah. are good problems to have. And um, I was pretty impressed. And as far as weight-wise, I wanted to lose 20 pounds. And I'm already at 24, you said. Yeah. So I figure I'll shoot for another 10. And... Then if I do come up a little bit, I'm still way below my original goal. Right. And flexibility is crazy. I've never been able to touch my toes, not even as like a kid. And after stretching enough, I can actually touch them. That's not a good thing. I, th I remember you were, you were mentioning that the other day, and I thought it was pretty interesting because I never, mm -hmm. you know, since you've been doing the virtual training, I've not noticed you have any issues. But I guess before before you started doing these and before you added in the mobility aspect, um, yeah. 
you know, maybe you, you had those issues before, but now you're doing just fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really shocked that I can, like when you say at the end for stretching to spread your legs and reach out and I'm thinking, yeah, okay. But I can almost touch, well, I can touch my toes the odd time. Very nice. So what would you tell somebody who is sitting on the fence right now and they were maybe watching, watching this post, obviously, if they're seeing this um, and they're kind of on the fence, like, I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if it's a good idea. Um, kind of nervous. What would you tell someone who, who was in that position? Um, well, you're offering the two weeks boot camp for free from what I've heard. I would suggest right. that they start with that if they're a little apprehensive about diving in head first. Right. But realistically, it's, it's just money and it's your life. So throw some money at yourself and get your life better. Right. Like I'm shocked at how better I feel. And, and then when my friend Kelly joined, I was super excited and she is loving it. Yeah. Hopefully she can lose some weight as well. Right. And I've had a few other friends that have shown some interest, but again, time wise doesn't really fit them. And there's no way they'd ever follow a meal plan. They figure they know it all, which is kind of how I felt too. And that didn't work out for me. But I think it's 110% worth it. I love it. And I would do it again in a heartbeat. Awesome. Awesome. Well, uh, you know, I appreciate your time. And, uh, you know, I don't think there, I don't have any, 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 uh, any other questions. We kind of gone over everything, but um, mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. And I, honestly, it's been fun to work with you. And, like you said, the uh, the first person to talk to you in the morning and at night, you know, we've been pretty mm -hmm. close and we've uh, we've chatted about a numerous amount of things and um, it's been just fun. It's been a lot of fun. So I appreciate you being so open and honest, you know, like you said, very accountable, but also just being somebody who is, um, you know, makes makes our communication very open and honest and just lighthearted. And, you know, when it's time to get down to business and do we need to do you do it and when it's time to have fun we have plenty of fun so it's been uh, it's been a pleasure to work with you so i really appreciate it and i look forward to the next you know couple weeks we have together and uh see what happens from there but um yeah i couldn't have asked for a better trainer and i have a really good friend that was a trainer and or still is and she couldn't give me the time of day so i was like well screw that i'll find some guy online and i'm so glad i did awesome awesome well tess i'm gonna end this real quick but What's that? I wish you were closer because it'd be nice to actually meet in person. Hey, don't but never say never. I never, know. never say never. Yeah. You never know. But I'm going to end this real quick, Tess, and then uh, we'll hop off here. So thanks for your time, Tess. I really appreciate it. And um, You're very welcome. that's it.